Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little I have no idea task I was doing a video well I've been doing a couple of videos on the Lenovo X3650 model 2 because this is a very 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 cheap server right now the server is able to do two CN processors um, in the 5600 series and these goes up to six core processors and all the way up to 3.46 gigahertz if you want that they are still a little bit expensive but it's not that bad um, and it holds 128 gigabytes of RAM in 16 slots in there maybe and that's what I want to check is it able to do more than 128 gigabytes of RAM I'm sure this server was new when 8 gigabyte blocks was the biggest around but nowadays 16 gigabyte blocks are widely available so I wanted to check that out what will happen if we take a Lenovo X3650 model 2 and stick 16 blocks of 16 gigabytes in there what will it say let's find out I am updating uh, the top one over here uh, that one we did a video on that last week I'm still doing that I just thought that I would take a couple of them and make sure that they're up to date man it's okay you can begin the update okay but I'm gonna take this one out and we're gonna try and exchange on the RAM oh this hasn't been out for a while so it does get a bit dusty in here so I got a question about the Model 2 and the Model 3. What was what's the difference between those two? And the the biggest uh, visible difference between those two servers are the amount of RAM that they hold. The Model 2 has room for 16 blocks of RAM here, and uh, the Model 3 has room for 18 blocks of RAM. And I do believe that the Model 3 can also do bigger RAM blocks. I can see that this server was the very first server that I played around with the graphics card. I made this cable in a very old video um, to to do a graphics card in this server. So and we can see that I have been cutting in the plastic to fit that graphics card. I do actually have the graphics card. It's, it's right here. That's the graphics card that I put in here uh, pretty long ago. So let's. Um, Let's see. I didn't put it in that slot. Yeah, here is the slot that I changed. You can see that um, to fit a graphics card, which is a PCI Express 16 into a PCI Express 8 port, well, I have to remove the end of the PCI Express card here. Luckily, these cards that goes into the server, they're really cheap. So if I uh, if I broke this, well, I could just get a new PCB and put that in and try again. I could also have removed um, some amount of these pins and just pop that in. But as this part was the cheapest, we did that. Moving along with the memory configuration here, I'm gonna take this memory out. I have no idea how much that is, but well, it's coming out. Okay, four gigabyte blocks, eight, 12, 16. Oh, that's an eight gigabyte block. Another eight gigabyte, four gigabyte, eight gigabyte, four gigabyte, and four gigabyte. Okay. So I'm gonna occupy it with these uh, 16 gigabyte, two RX4 PC3, 40,000 something. I'm gonna fill it up with those. There we go. Let's have the riser back. Went in that way. Piece of plastic here. Just need a bit of polishing. It, um, it gets dirty in the server. Put this power cable 
gate along the way and put the cover back on. I returned power to the server. When you do that and the server has been off, it will be blinking really fast on this uh, power button here. And while it's blinking very fast, you're not able to turn it on. When it uh, is blinking like in this rate, you, we can turn it on. And we should go to the monitor here and see what happens. Well, so far it's doing good. Um, it uh, initialized the memory. Uh, so our only concern is if it sees how much is that anyway? Okay, I had to do the math. It should see 256 gigabytes of memory if um, if it can handle this. If it can only handle 8 gigabyte blocks, well, we should see 128, and then we're definitely gonna take that RAM out again. Still going on strong. Um, I don't believe that it's, it brags about how it's doing out here anymore. Um, would have liked to see that. But let's go into the BIOS and see what it sees when it gets that far. Okay. We came into the BIOS. I haven't seen this yet. We are gonna see it together. System information. System summary. It sees the two CPUs. Doesn't tell us which ones those are. Rather quick ones. Memory 800 megahertz. It sees all 256 gigabytes of memory. Awesome. It doesn't run it very quick. Um, that's the that's the downside of this server. If you occupy all the slots it will downgrade the memory to this 800 megahertz speed. If I took out the last block in each of the memory banks, it would be able to handle, I believe, 1066 megahertz, but it sees all the memory. So the server actually handles 256 gigabytes of memory. I wasn't sure about that. This is awesome. Yeah, here it is again. Max performance, LB dim, low power, independent. Awesome. We can see the RAM. Enable. And it, oh, it even tells us the part number of it out here. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can try and explain this. The server has two CPUs. Um, if you only have one CPU in the server, you can only use half of the slots in the server. So if you're only using CPU 1, well, you have 1, 2, 3, 4... Well, you have these slots available. Each CPU has three memory channels. Channel 0, channel 1 and channel 2. Same thing on the other one. So, to balance the CPU and the server, you have to put in the same amount of RAM and the same sizes to both uh, CPUs and each of the channels. Um, so if we go and put in one block of memory in each of these three channels of each of the CPUs, we get maximum performance out of this. The Model 2 will then be able to run the memory at 1,333 megahertz. If we put in one more block in each of the memory channels. The um, CPU will go down in memory speed to 1066 megahertz in memory speed. If we put in the last two blocks, um, we get out of balance, which is a really bad thing, and the memory speed drops to 800 megahertz. So that's how that works. Um, the Model 3 became a little bit better, it got two slots more for memory and that meant that if you actually fill it up it will be in balance. The Model 2 was not. So the best thing you can do in the Model 2 is not to use those two last blocks um, on those memory channels. That will give you better performance 
um, but it depends on what you want to do if you just need a lot of RAM well you might get more out of having the RAM in there but um, with 16 gigabyte blocks we would get a better frequency out of the server if we just put in six blocks of 16 gigabytes then we would be able to run the memory at 1333 megahertz which would be better okay so this was actually a pretty cool experiment the awesome Lenovo X3650 model 2 is able to handle 256 gigabytes of memory wonder if it would do 32 gigabyte blocks probably not you might be wondering why I'm producing videos on the Lenovo X3650 Model 2 suddenly. Well, I've come to the conclusion that I, I should probably sell some of them. I have six of the Model 2s, um, five in the rack, one on the shell over here. And I think that I'll be selling out half of them. And nope, I'm not going to be shipping them worldwide. So I'm getting into gear on that one and I'm going to be uh, selecting the, the servers that I'm going to take out of the rack and um, put up for sale. So that's, that's why I'm messing around with it. So um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Hope you got something out of this. If you got a Model 2, well, you now know that you can put in 256 gigabytes of memory. Quite expensive, but you can. So do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.